Okay, so we are continuing with the experimenting, making this piece fall to the side. So I've removed the scale property and now I'm just going to apply the scale. Something is still colliding with this object. I'm not sure what is. Let me first hide everything else but this so that I can look at this correctly. Let me first reset the simulation. Oh, it's still on the same collision layer with the other layers, so I just want it to be on this layer, so... Yeah, that's what we want. Kind of fall off to this side, and... Uh, I think this can be animated. Let me first add a keyframe. Yeah, so this these values can be animated, so... We want this block here, our cube, to collide uh, with this surface as well. So if I play back, it falls, but uh, it doesn't collide with this surface. So I think it's also too fast. So I'll just move these just a bit like that. And uh, at around frame, let's see, bef after this, after it's not, as long as it's not intersecting with the rest of the meshes. Maybe let me just make it a little bit s smaller. Yeah, something like that. So I also want it to collide with these objects, but uh, only after frame. So that it's not intersecting with any of are uh, those lag blocks. So at around here. So at around this frame, or this frame here, I see, I wanted to Kind of collide with this object here so i'll just unmade this property here so at around frame 45 unmade this value and then at around this value at around frame 46 i can give this another collision layers so that it can collide with the other objects with the cube so let's see how that works I think it's working. But uh, I think I need to kind of make this a bit tall so that it doesn't just fall in like that. So again, this is just experimenting, me experimenting. That's why you see I may not be able to, I may not explain this very well, so I think this is good enough. So then what we will do is just parent this to this. So control P, keep object transformation. And uh, you can see now we have that. Uh, by the way, make sure that this is still passive, not active. And uh, it has the animated property on. So deforms and then collides. Let me see if it has any transformation keyframes. Yeah, I don't want any of these on this object, so I'll just delete them. Make sure you don't delete uh, the keyframes, the shape keyframes, and it seems I am deleting them. If 
pakai hybris yeah if we bring back the top layer and uh, turn on the rigid body back again rigid body work okay it's already on so this playback oh we just need to make give this the rigid body system again now let's see So everything seems to be working just fine, except some of the bricks are just going through this. Let me make sure that uh, it's still set to mesh and deforming. Oh, I know what happened. So. When we animated this collection setting, I think we failed to animate. Uh, this just changes uh, the collection. This the collection layer here, uh, so that at this point here, you can see this changing from this layer to this layer. You can see that means that uh, this layer is no longer colliding with any uh, any object. On this layer so that's what that's why you see that these bricks are going through uh, that element so but uh, that's an easy fix you just change this make sure that uh, at this when you make the change here you also have you have those bo both of these uh, these layers active so that this can act can uh, collide with the bricks and also collide uh, with this proper uh, object here so let's bake uh, this and see oh god let me see let me see let me see what else can i do let me first close some of these so that the bake is a bit faster I think I'll end it at around 100 and uh, preview the animation. Okay. Yeah, I think we still have that issue. I don't think I animated this properly. So you can also go to the curve editor to look at uh, uh, that collection animation. So this is the collision layers. Now, if I zoom in, you can see how they are being animated here. And I think we are missing something here. So, this is how they are being animated. So, you would have to come in and uh, make sure that I think this is this layer here. I'll delete that point. So that it continues being animated, being active throughout the entire process. So let me bake again, just one more time and see. Let bake. you can always skip ahead these baking parts and because I don't want to edit this video it takes a lot of work to edit them so yeah, escape there and 
let's see if that fixed it. Yeah, it did fix it. So we have a, still have a few issues here where the bricks are floating, uh, but uh, we can try to experiment and see why that's happening. But uh, this is the end of the yeah the series training series for that. Uh, thank you for watching again. Thanks to all my patrons, and uh, if you want to download the project files, uh, the original project files, you can find them on my Patreon page. Thank you.